People were asking where I was on the channel for the last week. Well, I ran afoul of YouTube's famous terms and conditions and uh, posting something that all of Catholic social media was posting. It wasn't just me, but seemingly YouTube didn't allow us to talk about or show a certain topic. But anyway, I'm back. And, you know, over the last week, there's been lots of news, lots of things to reflect on. I'm here in um, Our Lady of Carnes Shrine here in uh, 10 minutes from my house just after our weekly uh, prayer meeting. And uh, over the last week, we, uh, our local bishop retired and 900 years of tradition have come to an end in Balada. I found it very interesting how some priests, some people in local media, they lamented the fact that 900 years of tradition has come to an end, that the diocese will be merged with Tume. Uh, and yet, after so many years, you know, so many other traditions that, you know, were removed, you know, we, we got rid of uh, altar rails and uh, we got rid of <laughs> sacred liturgies and we got rid of this and that and the other and nobody lamented those things but when it comes to getting rid of the bishop suddenly tradition comes to the fore and I, I, you know it's a challenge uh, as people move forward because we are attached to things we're attached to structures but I think people are forgetting the whole reason the whole reason we of all of these structures of this, of this church is that we give people Christ. We give people Christ that they may know him more, our Lord Jesus Christ more, and not ourselves. You know, it's important that people know Christ more, and this is the challenge for the church. Uh, this is going to be always the challenge for the church, is to know Christ more, to know him in, in his word. You know, to go in, to be able to be taught uh, and know Christ. And many people, many laity are, are dying, are begging to be taught the faith. There are so many people that are looking to know the faith more, to understand the faith more. God is real. What well, I want to know him more. Teach me him. And this is the challenge for the church as, because the church will face incredible changes and challenges in the next 30 years. In, in 40 years time, 1,000 chapels in Ireland will be closed. And, and that's in our own hands. That's in the, the hands of us laity, of the church to decide, is this where we're going to go? Or do we want to take up the challenge of knowing the faith, teaching the faith? Last Friday, I was in Knock. I was um, passing Knock on the way home from a funeral and um, uh, as I was passing there, there was a, um, uh, there was the synodal process happening in, 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 in Knock at the time. And I happened to, to go around and see, well, how many people um, were, were there? And really, I, I've seen talks in Knock, a Medjugorje talk or a, a conference where the St. John of God Centre is packed, jam-packed. You cannot get into the place. And yet it was a very subdued event and it was open to the public. Anybody could go in. You know, I was asking a few people, well, what did you think about it? And it's not engaging. This synodal process hasn't engaged Irish laity. No matter how much we push it or shove it, because people want Christ. You know, the church seems to be going out, oh, well, what do you want from the church and what would you like? And, what, you know, and, 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 and people are forgetting that. What, what Irish, Irish want is Christ. The world needs Christ. His word, his body, his message, his example, his love, his reality, Christ. And if we don't have him in our heart, how can we give him to the world? How can we give Christ to the world? It's so important to give this word, this message to the next generation. Christ didn't ask us to reinvent the wheel in the church. He's asking us to give him to the church, to be him, to preach him, to know him. It's really important at this moment in time. 
And this is where the church needs to move in Ireland. We need to support our priests and bishops. Christ clearly is saying to me, you know, support your priests and bishops, but be missionary, be evangelizers, know the faith, study the faith, study the catechism, so that you can know what you can give to others, so that you can explain the faith to others, so that you can bring other people into this beautiful mystery of knowing Christ. You know, this is an important time in the church. And, you know, bishops need us to go with good proposals on how we can teach the faith to the next generation. Something that we actually believe, a person that we've actually encountered, you know. And I can, I can say with humility, with love, the Christ I met is the same Christ that St. Paul met. The same person. This is the Christ who revealed himself to me. And what he's saying to me, Christ saying to me in prayer, this encounter is not just a special encounter for a few people. Christ is for everybody. The Christ is saying, Paul met, Christ is saying to me, I want to have that encounter with everybody. And this is what will transform Ireland because it is an amazing time to be Catholic. It's an amazing time to know Christ. And it's an amazing time for you to take up the challenge of knowing Christ, of being with him, meditating on his word every day, going to Holy Mass, praying, praying with the hand of our Blessed Mother. That's what the rosary is. It's the hand of our Blessed Mother. You know, I'm here in, the, in a chapel. I'm here in a chapel, Karen's Chapel, where Our Lady said to come and organize prayer groups. You know, this is a beautiful place of, of peace and prayer. And it's the, it's the challenge I'm setting to Irish laity now is we need to be leaders in the faith. We need to be leaders in teaching the faith. This is what Ireland needs. Leaders in teaching the faith. You know, priests have their role, their sacramental role, which is extremely important. But the laity can teach the faith. We can practice it and teach it and lead other people to understand the faith more. And this is the challenge I'm setting to Irish laity that love the faith. Be leaders in the faith. Know it. Take time to study the catechism. Tons of resources. You know, we live in a generation. We, we have so many resources. We have so much re, many resources now that other generations never had. You know, we take up a smartphone and within 30 seconds you can know the translation of any Greek word or any Latin word. Or you can look up any paragraph in the catechism. You know, we have knowledge at our fingertips. And yet so many of us are not forming our hearts to hear Christ in prayer, to take time to listen to him in prayer. So many of us are, are failing to do this. We need to be experts on hearing his voice, experts of the encounter with Christ. And this is the challenge for this new era, this new age of Irish Catholicism, because it is a new age of Irish Catholicism, the old time has ended and we are embarking on a new era of Irish Catholicism and a very exciting new era and an era where we, we, we will learn from Christ better you know and it's an era where we all need to come together as a church and, and work together to give the faith to the next generation we can't go back you know, it, it impossible to go back. The church flows, it moves forward, and this is where we need to go. So this is the challenge, you know, this is what I'm getting in prayer, to lead, to know your faith, study the faith, give it to those around you. Be the yeast in Irish society. The yeast that, 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 that makes, that, 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 that transforms the dough uh, in society. Lead. People are yearning for this. People are thirsty for Christ, for his message, for that encounter. And it is truly life transforming. 
And this is what I'm encouraging Catholics to do, to work with bishops, to teach the faith, to give the faith to other people. It's clearly what Christ wants. It's clearly where we need to go. We need to give this light to, to souls around Ireland. And there are so many people that are capable of doing this. And, you know, I, there's so many resources out there for us to do this. And this is the challenge that we have. You know, no man will give his life to the priesthood or no woman will give her life to religious life if she does or he does not have a personal encounter with Christ. To know that Christ is there, that he's calling. You'll give your life to this great ideal. Millions and millions and millions of men died in two world wars for an ideal, for their country, for... And yet, we're not, able to, some, we're not able today to die to ourselves in order to give Christ to this world. And this is why we need to open up souls to this mystery of prayer, this personal relationship with God. As I said in the previous video, you know, I gave you that example of, you know, the old man and God and how God transforms us. We are born again. Literally, we are a new creation in Christ. It, we are something different. You know, St. Paul was different to the old Saul. Christ transforms and he's continuing to transform today. And this is the challenge I'm giving to, to, to Irish around Ireland. You know, the, the change is good in the sense that the change that's needed now is that we become strong in the faith, extremely strong in the faith, to know the faith, to be able to teach the faith, to give the faith to others. People will want to know. And this is what I'm really encouraging people. Anyway, God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye.